Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with a 2015 Ferrari 488 GTB. Now this has a 957 horsepower, 758 pounds feet of torque, 3.9 litre twin turbocharged V8 and the car itself weighs 2,910 pounds. It's been given all-wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension and as a result it can do 0 to 16 2.327 seconds. Not to 104.586 seconds and do 255 mile an hour. So yeah, incredibly quick in terms of acceleration. Uh, doesn't even weigh all that much even with the all-wheel drive system. And uh, yeah, packing plenty of power as well. Uh, so yeah, Ferrari in the previous game did extremely well in this series. Um, so I thought, well, let's uh, try and uh, nullify the dominance of Ford. Because they have cars in the top three. Dominating the podium position, should I say, one, two, and three, and another one in the top ten. And we've only taken one Ferrari so far in this series, being the uh, oldest, the Ferrari 166 Double M. So I am hoping that this will uh, do extremely well. So let's see what it can do. Now, obviously, it is a mid engine supercar, so it's obviously going to have uh, those kind of characteristics uh, going up against it, but having the speed it does, in terms of acceleration, especially. And the all-wheel drive system should hopefully make it do really well. Over well. Obviously, we are asking a lot from the car, not just in terms of extra power, but in terms of dealing with the all-wheel drive, the off-road tyres, and obviously the off-road suspension that has lifted the ride height. So we are adding a lot of elements into there to set the vehicle. And that's fairly decent for the water. 80 mile an hour is certainly not the worst that we've had. It's obviously going to slow it down. In comparison to vehicles that can do more than that, that's for sure. Well, I have to say, for the most part, it is handling it all right. Especially the rough stuff. I had any real issues with it? And the real complaint is the water. I guess that's to be expected. That it's not going to be as quick as say an off-road vehicle for the water. Stop doing it awful through there. Well, there we go. The first modern Ferrari, and it's done a cracking time of 2 minutes 4.124, putting it ahead of the Lamborghini LM002 and the Nissan Silvia, and only just behind the Ford Falcon XR GT, putting it into fourth place. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly uh, shown up. Uh, shown that Ferrari in general are generally decent on this kind of series because like I said they did really rather well in the last game and uh, now they're uh, proving their worth in this one because yeah to be only the second Ferrari and even that old one did relatively well at 2 minutes 10.297 but to be the new the newest Ferrari that we've taken on this series so far and to go straight to fourth place is really really rather impressive and obviously there's plenty of more new Ferraris out there for us to try out so uh yeah, uh, it's looking hopeful Ferrari and uh, Ford should uh, be looking a bit worried quite frankly because yeah, the first modern Ferrari has come damn near close to beating the, their third place car which was actually the uh, dominant uh, car for a long time. So yeah, Ferrari are looking like they're going to uh, do rather well again which is only a good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.